Okay, hi friends. Hello. <laughs> so we're here, we have taken you boondocking, we've taken you to a Harvest House, and we've also taken you to a couple of provincial parks. And we did talk about private parks, and that's where we are today. Yep. Uh, staying in Kappas Casing. We're well, not right in Kappas Casing. No, we're in Moonbeam, which is about uh, 20 kilometers um, east of Kappas Casing. But if you're coming to Kappas Casing and you want to go camping, this is essentially where you're going to be exactly. because we're right beside Remy Lake. Yep. And we are staying at a private park, and it is called yep. Remy Lake Campground. Campground. here at a private park there's a lot of different things yeah, different that we find different. at the provincial park and we are familiar with this park we've been here before Mitch's family um, has seasonal sites at yeah. this park so we are sort of fans and we just want to take you around and show you the different sort of things and the yeah some of the perks of being in a private park that's maybe different than a provincial park and one of the biggest things that we're gonna go to first is the convenience store. Well, they have the um, the RV parts and service that you can buy a whole bunch of RV parts. And they also have uh, like two technicians that work full time. Yeah. So if you have any issues with your trailer or air conditioner, whatever it is, um, they can take care of you. Yeah, they actually have stands, RV parts and service here yep. right on site. And like Mitch said, technicians, everything. So very convenient yeah. this is an amazing spot especially um people when we were here last year we met people who were doing uh cross country trips across right. canada yep. because you're right on highway 11 you are if you are doing your cross canada tour you're driving this is by. definitely a spot that you might drive by yeah and they do have two different parks um so we're at Remy Lake campground and they also have i believe it's like lakeside campground which is like maybe two kilometers away also uh very close to Remy Lake, yeah. but we're staying at the Remy Lake campground. It we is have. nice to still have the family run campground, yeah. and that's what you get here at Remy Lake. For sure. All right, let's check out the store. Let's do it. <laughs> have a lot of stuff so if you need any kind of part something breaks um, everything from I don't know like your your vent covers to basically anything they sort of have it all a little bit of everything like you've got your locks for your compartments hinges um, yep. sanitary waste valves taps faucets oh wow you could upgrade yep. your RV yep. anything for your discharge hoses they sort of have it all they've got shower heads all the electrical stuff which is fantastic we were talking to Alex, the owner. He was in the RV business before he got into the campground business. Yeah. So there's a lot of experience here with RV service. Sure. So it's not just RV parts. The kids can come grab some snacks, some chips, anything for s'mores. They have ice cream. Replace a toilet if you need to. Okay, so like basically anything you need, you can probably find here at Stan's RV Parts and Service Store. And they also have propane exchange, which is fantastic. And they also sell gasoline, so you can buy some gas for your boat, car, whatever it is kind of thing. Very nice added touch. Okay, so we've checked out the convenience store, uh, Stan's Parts. I think we're gonna go take a walk around the park and we're gonna show you what else there is. There's a small private beach here. Let's head there next. Well, I guess the one thing to note, so um, there's a lot of seasonal um, campers here. Yeah. And at this park, they have 10 transient sites. And at the other park, Lakeside, they have four transient sites. And the price for a night is $50. And that does include your hydro hookup. And that does include your sewer, uh, which is a really, really reasonable cost. Okay, so these are the transient sites. Where's 10 here at Remy Lake. Correct, yeah. Um, they're just very open, very flat. Um, you get a driveway, you get a picnic table, you get a lovely fire ring. And 
The washrooms are extremely close. Washrooms, showers, laundry are sure. right there behind us. And like I said, they are all at the front of the park. So it's got the nice flat and straight laneway, no obstructions. On the right side, you always get a piece of your lawn. Um, each site has a lovely fire pit. Um, Alex will hook you up with some wood if you'd like for the week. Um, so you can always just contact right here at the park and they can get you some wood. Each site also comes with a nice big picnic table. Everybody has their water hookup. And then, oh, we've got our yoga mat drawing here. Um, we've got hydro. And over here, the sewer hookup. All right, so we're here at the private beach for the Remy Lake Campground, and it's actually really nice, very sandy, um, very nice sandy entry on the way into the water. It's an awesome lake if you love fishing. Uh, it's a great fishing lake and just a great, great environment. There is a boat launch literally next door right. to the campground at the end of the road and four-wheelers are allowed in this park yep, four so golf carts. four wheelers and golf carts so if you have your four-wheeler that you're bringing because you're going to explore some of the trails um that is completely allowed in the park yeah so we should actually go we'll show you some of those seasonal sites in the rest of the park now Okay, so that wraps up our stay here at the Rimmy Lake Campground. Really want to thank Alex, the owner of Rimmy Lake Campground, for partnering with us for this video. We had a great stay here. We will certainly be back. Very friendly people, and you've got everything you need in one spot. Yep. So we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And follow us along because we're headed back south again next, and we're headed to the really beautiful town of Tobermory and we're taking Sadie on a ferry and going across Georgian Bay so definitely like subscribe and stay tuned and hope you'll have fun following our adventures for the rest of the summer bye, bye.